Okay, so what we're going to talk about today is uh, year eight solving linear equations. And we're going to be using a, a process called backtracking. So if, say, for example, we've got something like this. 2x plus 1 equals 21. Okay, so what this means is x times 2 plus 1 equals 21. So, I've got x, I multiply by 2, I plus 1, and the answer is 21. So, what do we need to do in reverse to find out what x is? We need to minus 1, then we need to divide by 2. This is called carrying out the inverse. So if we think about this, 21 minus 1 is 20, then divide by 2, and we can say x equals 10. So I know that x equals 10. Perfect, so we've done the first question. Okay, let's have a go at another one. What about this? Okay, so let's do this. So what's this saying? X divided by 3 plus 5 equals 20. Let's write this out. X divided by 3 plus 5 is 20. So now let's do the uh, inverse. So we need to minus 5, and then we need to multiply by 3. So now let's do this. 20 minus 5 is 15, multiplied by 3. Ah, yep. X equals 45. Perfect. Okay, let's do a similar question to that. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to modify this question ever so slightly. Can you see it looks very similar, but it's, it's changed. So now this is uh, translates to x plus 5 divided by 3 equals 20. Let's just do it backtracking. X plus 5 divided by 3 is 20. So now let's do the reverse. Multiplied by 3, subtract 5. Let's do this. 20 multiplied by 3 is 60, take away 5, x equals 55. Okay, let's just do another one. Let's use some brackets. So, okay. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to multiply out the brackets. We could do it this way. We could say, when we multiply this out, this multiplies out to... Do you remember that? So, 3x plus 3 equals 27. So, now, what do we do with x? We multiply by 3... Then we add 3, and the answer is 27. Okay, so now let's do the reverse. Minus 3 
divide by 3. So 27 minus 3 is 24 divided by 3. 24 divided by 3 is 8. Okay. One of the only things that we have to be very careful with is we might include some directed numbers. So let's just have a look at something like this. Okay. So now, let's do this. X minus 3 divided by negative 4 equals 11. We're going to do it. So x minus 3 divided by negative 4 is 11. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the inverse. So what's the inverse of dividing by negative 4? Multiplying by negative 4. What's the inverse of subtracting 3? Adding 3. Let's see what this is. So now, 11 multiplied by negative 4, a positive multiplied by a negative is a negative. And I'm just going to write down here negative 44. So I can remind myself what we're dealing with. Now, negative 44 plus 3, be careful with this, negative 44 plus 3, x equals negative 41. Just be really careful with those directed numbers. Be really careful, because it's easy to trip up on these things. Let's just do one more. Okay, let's just do this. So now we're going to multiply out the brackets. Okay, so let's just multiply out the brackets. Minus 2 times x, minus 2x, minus 2, a negative times a positive is a negative. Okay, so now let's do this. So we've got x, we multiply by negative 2. Can you see we multiply by negative 2? We minus 6, and the answer is minus 10. So now let's do the inverse. So we add 6, and then we divide by negative 2. Now, some of you might need to use your calculators to do this. So, negative 10, add 6. Negative 10, add 6. Negative 4. And now, negative 4 divided by negative 2. Now, be careful with this. Negative 4 divided by negative 2. Remember, a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So x equals 2. And if I think about this, if I think about this, if I put this x equals 2 back into here, let me just think, hang on. 2 add 3, 2 add 3 is 5, 5 times minus 2 is at minus 10. Yes, it works. Okay, wonderful. Good luck.